after I bought my Super A back in uh, March, I uh, was lucky enough that the uh, the man had a uh, Farmall or International belly planter. I think it's either an A178 or possibly an A180. But uh, he had it in the back, in the front of his yard, using it for yard art. The uh, rear wheels on it were broke. Uh, I had to re-weld them. And uh, anyway, I tore it apart, painted it all up, sandblasted it with a uh, wet sandblaster that uh, hooks to a pressure washer. And uh, like I say, it's not for uh, display purposes or whatever. It's going to go to work in the garden. But uh, pick that up. And uh, after I got it, I was lucky enough, I went over to uh, Thomasville, Georgia, looking for plows and sweeps and shanks and cuffs and clamps and all that kind of stuff. And uh, came across a man there that had uh, a few of these old coal duplex planters, which is what works with that belly planter. And uh, anyway, I managed to get, uh, I think, five sets of seed seed plates from him. I had to tear this thing completely apart. It was rusted so bad it wouldn't wouldn't move. I had to put the torch on it. I had to cut several bolts and brake bolts out of it, but uh, got it restored and uh, it's ready to go back to work. And down here at the other end of the shop, I've been working on the, uh, the base that the uh, planter goes on. I uh, thought it was free, got up here and uh, went to mount it on the side of the tractor and it was completely froze up. Uh, started tearing into it and took it completely apart. I'm not sure what the original colors were, it might have been blue because I've got another uh, planter here that instead of a uh, top that goes on it, this is a seven stud. Uh, drive that drives the base of the uh, seed hopper. Anyway, uh, when I picked up the seed hopper, the man had this, and I noticed that it was a 12 tooth sprocket on the top of it. So I've got to tear this one apart and uh, paint it, you know, uh, get all the rust and everything off of it, get it freed up as well. But uh, I bought that just so that I would have a 12-tooth a drive, which would be almost twice as uh, close a spacing on the uh, planting for corn or beans or whatever, whatever you're planting. But uh, I noticed when I turned this one over the other day, it's got two sets of gears on the bottom, and I'm not sure how that works. Uh, I don't know if uh, you can change the, uh, the drive ratio from the inner gear to the outer gear or how that is supposed to work but I'm gonna find out but uh, anyway got that picked up some of the uh, the attachment bars or whatever we had some here for a cub but didn't have all of these I had a had a couple of them and I picked up a couple of others but uh, got that also got a fertilizer uh, distributor and the uh, the base that sits it sits on got the hopper and everything for it so we're ready for next planting season thanks for watching